Look, we've got to talk about the fact, Donna, today is the 50th anniversary of the assassination yes. of the Reverend Dr. Martin K Luther King Jr. Your thoughts as we remember Dr. King a half a century later? Uh, I want to say this. Uh, my generation benefited from the work of Dr. King and so many others. They were, they were Americans who believed in the dream. They were Americans who fought for equality and justice for all. I am still in love with Dr. King. His message of hope, the, the inspiration that he gave so many young people like myself back in the segregated South. So I want to, on this day, thank Dr. King and all of those heroic leaders who marched for freedom and yeah. justice for all. Yeah, we all, we all love him. And we we all uh, have that sentiment. Donna, let me ask you before you go, you wrote the book Hacks. Do yes. you believe that the hacking into the DNC had anything to do with those Awan brothers, the IT guys who uh, the Democrats blew <laughs> off their, uh, their background checks and, of course, are under investigation today? Well, you know, the, the House uh, uh, investigation, I haven't read the full report, but, you know, I believe everyone should be vetted. No, I don't believe those individuals had anything to do with the hacking of the Democratic National Committee. I would hope that before uh, Director Mueller finishes investigation, we get to the bottom of it. We know that there was Russian interference in our election system. I want to figure out who committed this crime, and they should be brought to justice. Yeah. No, well, the Iwan brothers, just to be clear, is a separate story from the Russia, uh, from the Russia probe. Uh, but you were were there at the DNC. Did you work with uh, Mr. Awan? No, ma'am. Uh, they worked, uh, I believe, in, in the House of Representatives. I haven't worked on the Hill since uh, uh, 1999, so 2000 when I left. So, no, I don't know anything about uh, that, that series of what I call... Uh, in, in many ways, it was a it was a management failure. It was bad. We should vet everybody, not just uh, you know Democratic staffers. Every staffer who works for the House of Representatives or the United States Senate, anybody, uh, it should be vetted. Yeah, I mean you would think so, Donna. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much. Bless you. And to you, Donna Brazil.